Hello and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys to more reaction following the Chelsea versus Barcelona game tonight ended of course 1-0 we head back to the camp now with a vital away goal but we'll be going through the player ratings for this game because I haven't done this kind of video in a little while and what I wanted to show you guys basically was that I think tonight there wasn't really many individuals that played badly it was I just think the team shape and some of the decisions the substitutions we didn't really do enough tonight especially in the final third that's where where it broke down and in the middle of the pitch in terms of our defensive play as well. The structure for me was a bit off tonight but in terms of individuals there wasn't an awful lot wrong. So we're going to start as always with Ter Stegen and we're going to give him a 7 out of 10 rating. I think on the whole you know he played very well in terms of when he was receiving the ball at his feet of always he was very very comfortable on the ball. He played a few nice passes out to the defence trying to take out the Chelsea midfield but just in terms of the goal obviously he couldn't do an awful lot about it. William struck it with incredible power. We saw him strike two others very similar to that when Ter Stegen didn't even move. Both of those goals were going in, they hit the post, didn't happen for William, but Ter Stegen and I didn't have an awful lot to do. What he did have to do unfortunately, he couldn't do anything about. So 7 out of 10 for Ter Stegen. Then there's Sergio Roberto, who I'm going to give an 8 out of 10 rating due to that. I think to be honest, he did very, very well. What we were expecting going into this game was Hazard against Roberto. Hazard played a bit more central, which certainly suited Roberto a lot more, but I think Roberto, to be honest, he had a lot to deal with down that right-hand side. He had Alonso, who was considered consistently overlapping and causing some problems and he did really really well especially when you consider ahead of him Paulinho didn't have a very good game we're going to come on to that but Roberto held his own in that right back role he came forward well he always ran into space he was always looking to be the outlet on that right hand side and I thought he gave us really good wit tonight and out of the two fullbacks for me Roberto was the best one tonight and with that we go on to Jordi Alba who I don't think was particularly bad I just don't think he was his usual best in that left hand side he didn't really combine as often as we would have liked with Iniesta he didn't always sort of bomb on and maybe that was because of the threat of Moses. Moses tried to get forward on a lot of occasions. He penned Alba back really, really well. So I'm going to go with 7 out of 10 for Jordi Alba tonight. He was okay. He didn't do anything terrible. He didn't make any mistakes. But I just don't think he was offensively brilliant as sometimes he can be. And then on to the two centre-backs and I'm going to give them both the same player rating tonight and that is going to be 7.5 out of 10. Like Jordi Alba really, I don't really think either of them did anything wrong. They didn't make any mistakes which led to any goals or any goal scoring opportunities. So in that regard, they did pretty well. But I just think PK and Turkey tonight maybe didn't really do enough, considering they didn't really have a centre forward to mark. But maybe that made it a bit more difficult for them. They didn't really have a Maratta, a Giroud to mark. Instead, they had Hazard, who was very mobile. He was trying to work his way into space. They had Willian and Pedro as well to contend with. I don't think either of them really dominated Hazard. They didn't really stop him playing. So we didn't really cut him completely out. That's why the ratings aren't as high as they could be. But I think Amtelli and PK overall did okay, and they didn't make any mistakes. Mistakes. And then there's Sergio Busquets, who for me, in that midfield role, in a two alongside Ivan Rakitic, Sergio Busquets tonight for me was absolutely sensational, simply because in these big occasions, he thrives from that. And you need somebody like him in the team who's willing to receive the ball and move it and do it quickly as well, without any fear. And that was Sergio Busquets tonight. He was the metronome in midfield. He kept everything ticking over. He was playing some phenomenal passes. He linked up with Messi really, really well. And that was the thing. When Messi was finding space, Busquets was finally messy and that was the key tonight unfortunately we weren't able to do enough to cause Chelsea problems but I think in general Busquets the way that he carries himself in these games the way that he's always the start of our moves and the general in midfield he was absolutely brilliant and for that reason 9 out of 10 tonight for one of the standout performers Sergio Busquets and then on to Ivan Rakitic obviously alongside Sergio Busquets in midfield I'm going to give Rakitic an 8 out of 10 rating tonight and the reasoning for that is I think it's very very difficult when you're playing in a 2 and like I say I don't think there was an awful lot of support from Paulinho on that right hand side a lot of the time it was Rakitic actually who was being dragged out onto that right to support Roberto defensively so I think Rakitic tonight did a lot of work that maybe went unseen, a lot of dirty work really in defending and I think going forward as well he got involved in the passing he didn't give many balls away, he was very careful in possession, he picked up a yellow card but you've got to acknowledge in that area it was actually a very good yellow, Chelsea were breaking we were clearly exposed down the middle of the pitch as we were on a few occasions throughout the game and Rakitic to be honest took one for the team and took him down. It was William on the break and with some pace as well. So Rakitic in some areas tonight did very well. He covered us defensively. He did the hard work. He did the dirty work in the field. So for me, 8 out of 10. Then there's Andres Iniesta and I think it was those trio really and that's why I don't understand. Maybe at times, especially in a game like this, we could go to our preferred three in midfield. Busquets, Rakitic and Iniesta because those three combined very well. There was triangles. There was good combinations between all three of them. Iniesta had a quieter first half but certainly came to life 
life in the second half. And of course, you can't ignore his contribution for the goal. It was absolutely brilliant from Iniesta. And exactly like I spoke about in my match review, Andres Iniesta, out of all the players on that pitch, he was the man switched onto the situation. He was alive to that ball. He was closing Chelsea down. He got there first, even though he might be into his 30s now. He might not play every game, but he's still there. That football brain is still there. He gets into the box. He takes his time. It's a brilliant assist for Messi. Puts it right on a plate for him. And of course, Lionel Messi delivers it. So Iniesta, a vital part in that away goal. He was a massive part, of course, in that 2009 one-all draw. Could this draw see us through to the next round? Iniesta, a big part of it tonight. Much better in the second half. Much more involved. And whenever he picked up the ball, he looked like he was dangerous. One of the only players, really, in the final third who was doing that tonight. So for me, 8.5 out of 10 for Andres Iniesta. And then we move on to Paulinho and his performance in midfield tonight. And obviously, I've come here in many player ratings videos, and I don't like to rate players really, really low. I don't like to really kick them when they're down. But for me tonight, honestly, I would say Paulinho had one, maybe two at a real push good moments. He really did have a catastrophic 50-60 minutes in this game. I'm going to give him a 3 out of 10, simply because he was a real problem. And I spoke about in my match preview that you need every single player in your team to be working and executing the game plan for it to work. You need every player on board, 11 players all singing from the same hymn sheet. And I felt like tonight everything was working fine. We were dominating the ball. Our possession was good. Our movement was good. We had some good runs. But there was one part of it letting it all down. And that was that right right-hand side, that right wing. He was static a lot of the time. When he did move, he wasn't in the right places. When he got the ball, it was often going backwards or it was stopping completely. He slowed a lot of our breaks down. There was a few bad touches. And like I say, obviously, I don't want to get on Paulinho's back. I don't want to, you know, really go for the jugular with him. But tonight, it was really bad from Paulinho. And, you know, it's not only his fault on that right-hand side. You've got to say as well, why is Valverde really choosing him in this kind of game? There are some games where you can feel Paulinho and he will be effective. In La Liga games against maybe mid-table opposition at the Camp Nou. We're having a lot of possession when maybe they're not that deep and you don't need such technical players to open teams up. Then you can play Paulinho. Then he can have an impact in the box when he's scoring some goals. But in a game tonight when we knew Chelsea were going to be so deep and so compact and so organised, we knew that it was going to take something special to unlock them tonight and Paulinho wasn't that man. And through him and his poor display, he let the entire system down. So for me, unfortunately, and it pains me to say it, 3 out of 10. Then there's the match winner, of course, Lionel Messi, and I was really, really happy tonight, obviously, with the fact that we got the away goal, but not only that, the fact that it was Messi the man to get. He hadn't scored previously in eight meetings against Chelsea, but tonight he got his goal, and it was a really, really big one. And I think every single time Messi got the ball, particularly when he was just sort of behind Chelsea's midfield and just in front of the defence, right between the lines, he was really, really dangerous. But I would say there wasn't enough around him. Just like Luis Suarez, we're going to go on to that, he was very, very isolated when he got into good areas tonight. There wasn't enough support. There wasn't enough runs. That's what I mean. I think Alba a few times could have been more down that left-hand side, giving Messi those inside to outside pass options. It didn't really happen, but I thought Messi, every time he got the ball, he was positive. He picked it up in the first half and he took it past two or three Chelsea players like it was absolutely nothing. It was so easy for Messi tonight in some areas, and he really did put on a show. When he had the ball, he was dangerous, and he got a massive, massive away goal for us here. So I'm I'm going to give Messi the same as Busquets tonight, 9 out of 10. He was dangerous, he got the goal for us, and he was mesmeric at times in his dribbling. So Messi and Busquets, by far the standout players. But on to Luis Suarez, who I think another one who was very, very good tonight. 8.5 out of 10 for Suarez to me, simply because he was doing a lot of things all on his own. When he got the ball up front, and you've got to bear in mind, he's up against three defenders, not only defenders well, very good ones too. Aspilicueta is a very good defender, so is Christensen, and Rudiger is very athletic. Suarez did really, really well to hold the ball up, to bring other players into it. He'd hold it up and wait for Alba. He'd hold it up and wait for Iniesta. And I thought he did the dirty work, like Rakitic really, very well tonight because he worked so, so hard. He was tireless in his pressing. He pressed every single ball. And I think that's where you sort of lead to mistakes. And that, for me, maybe is where the goal came from. Chelsea sort of had that pressing. Suarez was closing them down at every possible occasion. And it was just one too many passes for Chelsea. They put one across the box and there our goal comes. Gift wrapped by the their own centre-back. So for me tonight, Suarez epitomises that work rate, that desire to win, and I was really impressed with what he showed tonight. 8.5 out of 10 for Luis Suarez. And finally, my mark for Ernesto Valverde. I am going to go with 6 out of 10 tonight for Valverde because I was disappointed with the general setup of the team. I was disappointed that the two in midfield for us got exposed by Chelsea on the counter-attack against quick players like Hazard, like Willian. We should have expected
expected that. We should have counted that better, and that shouldn't have been with Paulinho on the right-hand side. And not only that as well, like I spoke about in my match review, I think we should have seen Usman Dembele at some point on the night. I certainly feel like against this Chelsea team, when we needed to stretch them, when we needed some pace, a different dimension, we could have picked Dembele from the bench, who's fully fit, by the way. There's nothing wrong with him. He's not injured. He just needs some match fitness, and he's not going to get that unless he's on the pitch. He wasn't on the pitch tonight. Valverde, for me, made some strange decisions, and we didn't play well as a result. So 6 out of 10 for me. But of course, guys, the positive is we got out of Stamford Bridge with a one-all draw. We have the away goal. The performances from the individuals were pretty good tonight. But as a team, Paulinho let us down on that right-hand side. We didn't create enough opportunities, and we let William have far too many shots in and around our own box. So there are things to work on for us. There are things to look at ahead of that second leg. But of course, at the camp now, with an away goal, Chelsea, without a real advantage in this game, we do go into that game with a lot of confidence and with a lot of faith in reaching the next round of the Champions League. So I'll see you soon, guys, with a lot more videos. Please do leave your own player ratings in the comments down below. What do you think about each player? How do you think we perform tonight as a team and also as individuals? So I'll see you soon, guys. Thank you, as always, for joining me for this video. And thank you for all your comments and your thoughts as well. I'll see you soon. But until then, as always, Vesca El Barça. Thank you.